Well, don't, don't, don't call me corrupt. Are you racist? Are y'all racist? So y'all want to stand and call me corrupt? I want to ask, are y'all racist? Y'all happen to all be white. Are you white? And you the one who said out of my mouth I was corrupt. And so I defend myself. You can pray. I don't, I don't move with certain stuff. I pray on my knees. You getting on your knees? Get on your knees. I pray on my knees. Don't pray. I pray on my knees. You say, do we want to pray? You the one called me corrupt. If you want to pray when I see five or more together, it ain't got to be no more. If you want to pray, but I don't play with God. We're praying, you guys. Come on, let's pray. Is that it? And you ask to pray? Yeah. Now, if you're praying with God, I ain't in it. You want me to say the prayer out loud? Yes. Pray with us, Eric. Unity, this is what we're doing. Lord, it's a lot of foolishness out here. People calling people corrupt, white folks in a black city. Lord, this is a mess. You got Woodson and others dividing and conquering. We've been on this battlefield for three years. I didn't see some of these folks. And now you got folks on social media cameras like they want to be big time here. Clanking accusations, Dan rather, whatever. Lord, I tell you what you do. Keep this evil and devilishness away from me. If there's somebody who's misunderstanding me, straighten it out. Because me as a mortal man, I can't put up with it. Lord, these blessings I ask in the name of Jesus, the city of Flint. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hey, Eric, does that mean I should move? I live here. Ma'am, we just got off our knees. Cut the crap. <laughs> Cut the crap. You do what you choose. And I'm going to be on my side of the city. You be on yours. Flint has been known as one of the most divisive one of the most so where do you draw the line most corrupt where do you draw the line what line ma'am the line between race where what side do you want to sign if that's what you believe i believe in some misunderstanding mess anytime i know me and people start howling corrupt, hey man the big black guy here what's up you, you want hey, that or you want what? If you don't oh, want me to answer, you. don't ask me the question. I'm indigenous. I came here. I'm indigenous back generations back, but not pure indigenous. I did not call me corrupt. He did. Why are you defending his word? Okay, then y'all together. So it ain't no need to pray. Just, just be silent with me. Why are you interested in talking to me? Why? Because I traveled across the country to help these people. I live here to help these people. So what you want me to turn my power over to you? So what are you saying to me? We ain't helping? What I'm saying to you is that nothing's being done right now. I say it is. We didn't have close to 500 million come in. What about 13, the 8, why don't you let me finish? Do you know a conversation is give and take? When I start, you say nothing's been done. We fight for democracy, and you say nothing? I think you need a shot of uh, fire water, Lake Pocahontas. I guess I'm right. Oh, no, the mayor probably said this. No, they want to try to make fools out of black folks. Whether you indigenous, black, white, or whatever. I don't appreciate people who don't know me calling me certain things, but I'm respecting you. I didn't call you corrupt. I didn't call you a certain thing. But I will quickly. I told you, I told you conversation is give and take. Is it something you want to say? The, the city is majority black. That's a fact. My ward is 98% black. Why you don't want different issues? You don't want me to say black, white, indigenous. Why do you say indigenous and I can't say black? Of course you can't. Well, what is the issue? If you proud of being an Indian or indigenous, why can't I be proud of being black? This is a city. What's the big deal if I... To me, it do. In reality, you got males, females, black, white, young, and old. So I can talk the way I want to talk. But what we actually came to talk about... What about the water shut off? What about the 8,000 water shut Hey, y'all, I'm trying to sit it down for me next five o'clock. All right. 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 All right
Yeah. So what's up with Maze? Why did he start throwing all the race stuff around? I don't know. Well, that's the thing. They're always going to try to keep us divided. One of the first things they can do is... But it's like he just stadium. started that recently really yeah. heavy. Let's go try to work something out here. Everyone's just yelling and there's nothing, you know. That's what I got in This afraid. is the I same stuff, right? There, I mean. Yeah. This, this is the same thing, but you know. We're trying we're stand out here we are fighting. Really, really trying to get them to pray, just to be peaceful and unite. That's really what our biggest goal is here for the uh, Camp Promise, is for us to bring these people together so that they can unite and get over this together so that we can heal as a city. Um, Yeah, that's what the prayer was for. That's what my prayer was for. <laughs> okay, well, talk. I'm going to try to talk to y'all both at the same time. What you want? What's up, Art? What's happening? Y'all got a lot of ketchup. Okay, I'm going to go to the press. Let's go press him, bro. Put him on camera. Let's go press Bill Chris, bro. Let's see if I ask some questions about the first city town hall. All of them. All of them. I'd like to answer some questions at all about the front city town hall arrests that were taken or anything here. Do you live in the city of Davison? But are a paid advisor for the city of Flint. He won't answer any questions at this time. Community, you guys can see this is exactly what the residents of Flint get to when they ask questions. He's paid $120,000 to give them advice. until they paid off the delinquent taxes. And why do, do I agree with that? The answer is no. Okay. Any more questions? So what happens if they can't pay? It goes to the land bank? It happens all across the nation. If people don't pay taxes, it goes to the state. But we set up what's called the land bank. I didn't set it up, but in the state of Michigan, you have land banks. It used to go to the Department of Natural Service, Natural Resources. All across America, if you don't pay your property tax, people can be foreclosed for back tax. I'm old enough to know that. And so I want everybody to know that's how people have acquired land for a while, because you have property tax on land. Do I agree that the water land should be put on that? No. Do I agree that the water bills are too high? Yes. It's certain things that I don't agree with, but I don't know about 8,000. I'll get that information and I invite you to come for me. 
very well. You didn't interrupt me. So keep going. Any more questions? That was a questions? very good and succinct answer, Mr. Mays. I appreciate that. Well, well that's no you. problem. People who really know me appreciate me. I appreciate that answer. Thank you Any very more much. questions? No, that's great. Thank you. What's 8,000? You want to try again? So, um, now, what are we going to do about people who have all these other problems from the water crisis? There's lawsuits pending. And even though the law is a slow process, when people do people wrong, they file a lawsuit. And I hope people get millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, I mean, but I'm not, be honest with yourself. I agree with you. Be honest with yourself. If you don't pay your if you don't pay your car, then what's going to happen? Okay, We're talking so about water bills for poison water. This is what I'm telling you, people. Me, this is, I want y'all to hear me clearly. I want y'all to understand me, right? There's nowhere in the world that no man should pay something he can't use. Right. But if you can't use it, you know it's a hindrance to your health, right? They flush toilets. They're charging listen, toilets. listen. I don't care about them flushing toilets or drains or whatever. If I got a bill, my water bill come to me. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm not paying my water bill. I'm taking that water bill money and I'm putting it over here. And when you guys get your problems straightened out, tell me what I owe you, I got your money. But I'm not coming down here giving me a dime. There you go. That's so I'm putting my money over here in a water account. When the water bill is straight now, I will pay you your money. I cannot use this money to assess the money I did. But you guys got to move that and break it down. Show me what the use that I use for flushing my toilet and stuff like that. I'm saying I'll pay that. But I'm not paying a bill until this water prices took a hit. Simple as that. We are people. We are the people of the city of Flint. We got a force. And you guys are not letting your voice be used. You guys bidding about no reason. We don't have no control what the side it is. But if we go against what we're trying to do, we ain't gonna get nowhere. It's on us to stand together. Say, hey, we are tired of what you're doing. You still got your hand control which way we go. We are tired. We don't want no more control. We want action today. So a week a week off by about we calling this, we calling this for this. And everything she brings to the table, your council people started kicking it down. She can't go progress because she got to fight what y'all don't want to do, get progress done. So how y'all want, what you want to recall me for? You're not allowing me to do what I need to do. I'm the one that got started trying to do something, send us some money here. You guys, don't, they said no. But I went all out my power. But what we're doing now, We've we had to sue Snyder every step of the way. She hasn't been on the front lines of that at all. Let me all. tell you something. What are you bro. talking about? Let me tell you something. I don't, I don't hear you, man. This, this Let me is not, tell you something. Just, done, like, just like Snyder, just like, like I like told him. Just like I told him. dealing with this. Just like I told him. We did. Wait a minute. I told him at the last meeting, y'all is loud. Snyder to dictate which way we need to go. I said, in three years, this press loose to pass this long? If it ain't done, then. It's it not, well, listen, when Snyder stepped out, what we got? We got a problem that we got to deal with. Snyder's gone. Who going who gonna to stand up and be counted for? That's why I told him, this fight line can be done in a year, and I want it done in a year. Yeah, they've got um, President What's happening, man? Hey, look, you was the one out said he's got the crew. Got the crew. Got the crew. Got See, see, that's the problem. Everybody wants to say what they have. And I, and, I, and, and I haven't said anything to no one. The reason why I haven't said nothing is because I know there's hard tap and everything they're doing to the water line. They do not do it to my staff. I know what I'm doing. I'm done with it. I'm not just saying my real first word here. I started off in the sewer line when I was a baby. Worked my way up. And I watched the people out of my boys get the water line out there because I, I poured the sea right behind me. And I watch them. I know what can be done. And the decision is what they're doing now is not done the proper way because everybody's saying what they want to do. But every time she tries to sit down and sit and get something, everybody says, so got to go on the circle. We have to have the right people talking about the right stuff. Hell with the bullshit. And that's just me. If you ain't going to run these lines, like, you ain't got to be in touch. They didn't, when they talking about they didn't run these lines with the little money they got, I told them they shouldn't ever touch them. Because why, why are you going to touch something when you got $12 million and you can't do your whole job? What you need to be done?
And that's what I just said. And then on top of that, they should be just changing the service lines. They should be changing the It was cheaper to change everything at one time. But see, when you buy it, you need to allow the state to dictate. Just like when people don't listen to me, when I tell you something, I know exactly what I'm talking about. They don't allow the state to dictate. No, no, no. Who? David McGee and the president of Vermont, they quit because of the fact they didn't want Karen them to have the power back in the state and said, no. You give them the power back or you resign on the RTEP. They put uh, Karen May and uh, Karen Weaver, Vice President Joe Ferguson, and Mike Thompson to be on the RTEP so she can get whatever she wants. Uh, they allowed her, this, look, they allowed her to get whatever she wants so that you know what happens when they take over the power. They gave every, all the responsibility went over on her. For real. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I know. I, I, my buddy, and he ain't gonna lie to me about that. Man, him have fun. And like I told him, when the state first resigned up, they come up with them this and this and this. I said, why are you forcing that people up? You see, you're going to be talking to dollars in the court. I said, you're talking to a man, and then I'll be gonna get some dollars on me, nothing. Millions of dollars on me. I had everything with him, it's all good. And I had, you, you know me, so you know where I'm coming from. My concern is everything that's done in the city, if it ain't going to do it right, don't do it at all. Well, I'll take you back to 1972. I'll take you back to 1972. The city, see what the problem is, the city, like I told them, they should have took a general contract, public contract, whatever's going to be the city. Whatever want to be done, or any contract you want, you can bring in 65 contracts to get this merger done. But you don't take the toll. You ain't got it. You ain't got no call. You know what? I, you know what makes and, me mad. And, you know, and that's what you know. You know what makes me mad. You remember when Eric came up from him when we put down the service lines for people uh, out of our own pockets for the city? He even started changing service lines. We was doing. Waldorf charged us thirty-three hundred dollars a service. Right? And phase two. Phase three. Phase two is two million. Phase three is five million. Seven million dollars for the last two phases, right? Seven million. All we have done is eight hundred and fifty-five pipes. Seven million. Right? But check this out. Thirty-three hundred times eight hundred and fifty-five is two point eight million. Why why did they make four point eight million dollar profit? They made that profit. I'm not saying the mayor of them took anything. I just said that they made a four point eight million profit. Because they price gouged. They they every service line was sixty four hundred dollars, man. Excuse me. But tell me about the nigga the truth. When they first started the server line, that's why they didn't do it for 800 pipes. The reason why they didn't do it for 800 pipes, though, because they was out there pitting gas and all what they had to do. Instead of making mistakes. So mistakes cost you money. And every mistake cost you. It didn't cost them, it cost us. Right. And so, but you got contracts by the stand, they know what you're doing. And you find them. And you find people telling you, hey, I've been doing this for 20 years. You gonna tell me what I'm doing is wrong? If my man, I can bring him calling up phone right now. I can tell you, take a goddamn thing out right now and spot down that corner. He'll tell you exactly where he put that line at. All right, and he qualified. Been doing it for 20 years. If he tell you he's gonna put it on top of that, you say he want a four inch line above that, he's gonna put it four inch above. So, so let me ask you this: Why ain't they using your man? Right. <laughs> no, all right, no, that was my no, case, man. No, no, why? No, why? No, why? So when they told him, they went to school for five days. You don't know what you're doing. We know what we're doing. How are you going to go to school five days? How about you going to go to school five days? And they're trying to tell him what they do. Like my man come down here and cut the sidewalk. Y'all fire him. You got a $400,000 saw, a $60,000 saw cutting your side. You gonna tell me I don't know what I'm doing? I'm gonna pay a $5,000, $6,000 for you. I'm gonna buy it for you. So what you're telling me, because the mayor is not contract education, not plumber education, not none of that, and all y'all posing my body, you got contract, you saying this, and you're trying to do your thing. See, don't get me talking about this. This is my issue. This is my issue, right? I don't have to go. Yeah, but I'm talking to the social environment.
good people around her that can make decisions and get people like what you're talking about. And you know like, why and the people that she had when you got a contract that came in, took a contract, and I told her, you know when the reason came up, when they church came up, and they, that's why they have to stop when they come in there and talk about they wasn't going to pay their own wages. Right. And I told them, I said, no way in the hell y'all allow this door and all these cut. See, all these contracts were standing. They wanted it to do it like that. They didn't care about the government. All of them were standing. Now I'm sitting back there, and I ain't say a word. And all of them sitting, this and this and this and this. I got up, and you remember, I got up, and I said, there's no way it can be done this way unless this is done the proper way. If right. you go this way, you're going to have to stop it. What they do, they discharge it, right? They we map, they map. Because if I tell you something, believe me, it's right. So let me ask you this. Do you think it was fair for them to open up the bid and then rebid it and the person that was the highest ended up coming in the lowest? After they seen every all everything the way my man calculated, boy, you have to calculate it. That wasn't fair. It wasn't fair for the money to sit there. I'm going to tell y'all something. Hey, let me go. I miss me. We got to go. See you, brother. Hey, we love it. We love it. Oh, yeah. 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 Go. Oh, here's another one in the book. Maze is so, so cool. That was an action. We didn't even have to do anything, dude. All we had to do is ask pain? questions. You know, nothing happened to him at camp. Oh, that's lies, that's dude. I was just. Saying. I told him to come back out to camp then. He barely brushed the surface. No, of dude. We played he croquet. He tried to bring a race card into that just now, and I wouldn't even answer no, his yeah, question. That, like, I'm not even fun. feeding into that with you. <laughs> you brought race up first when we were talking to you in that situation. That was some bullshit, dude. Yeah. Well, when you say Flint's a black city, that's kind of a... When you I say, mean, hey, you're that corrupt. That was his statement. That was his statement. I'm yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. that's... What, uh, no, he said in the prayer, you got these white folk coming into this black city. That's what he said on the prayer, yeah, bro. I was yeah. like, oh, my God. Let this guy keep talking. Because the more he talks, it just shows the world yeah. what this fucking council and shit does here. Right. Well, you from Swartz Creek, why are you even coming in here? Because I want to show the world what you guys do to these people. I do. Born the, and raised here. The good point that he made is, what about these other city council fuckers that don't do or know shit about anything? Yeah, yeah that's true, too. But... At the same time, I don't know if you're doing more harm than good by being ignorant. You're doing fucking more harm than good What's by knowing it? what the fuck's going well, on. I'm not doing anything about it. What Wayne did Albert Einstein you, say? Bro. Albert Einstein said that it wasn't the people that knew something. It was the people that knew something and didn't do right. something about it. Exactly. And that's what Weaver, that's the problem we have with Weaver. That's what the whole recall thing's about. What, she's had over a year now to fuck with this shit, and it's the same shit as it was the day that she I, got hey, in. We've been trying she's to getting pushed by the state, yep. and she's not. She's just a buffer between the state crushing yep. us completely. That's uh, why I told her the whole thing for us here, and I was telling Eric, our whole thing been, it's been from the beginning to put the pressure on the state, because we know where this yep. all began from. But damn, if she starts attacking Like these us, water bills. What the fuck? The state should pick that shit yeah, up, yeah. not residents. Don't bitch at so oh, If you don't yeah. pay your bills, where else do you not get fucked? Well, when you don't pay your poison water bills, I've never heard of a place where you're forced to do that. So I when guess that resident was saying he has to, be, he has to pay it, I'm like, no, you what don't. What a dipshit. No, you don't oh, have man. to pay the water bill. It's like this ethics thing in religion. They use religion a lot in ethics. You should always oh, pay you, your bills. Oh, you got to be a good be... citizen. You got to be good in the eyes of the Lord. Pay your bills or you get crushed. That's what it is everywhere, right? They no. condemn you for it. Yep, yep. The difference is, is we got poisoned by the government. Yeah. Period. I'm ended on that.